Welcome back children. Now let's study some common features of formal letters. As you can see the picture, we have to follow the block format where everything will begin from the left hand margin. See, first of all, Sendris address. Then it also includes date. Then address of addressee. Then salutation, sir, madam. Then subject. Then body. And at last, the subscription that is yours sincerely or yours truly. The blockwise format of different kinds of letters are given below. So first, let's begin with the business letters. So first of all, when we start writing a business letter, so first of all, we mention telephone number, then our reference, if it is there, and your reference, if needed. Then sender's address, then pin, and then date, then inside address or the address of addressee, then pin. Pin means pin code. Reference means the persons you know. Then salutation, sir, madam, then subject. Then after that, the content will be there. Content generally includes three paragraphs. First, introductory para, then main body of the letter, then at last, concluding para. After that, yours faithfully, and then signature and full name. After that, designation. Actually, it is not E and D, it is E and C L. So, this E and C L is short form of enclosures. Enclosures means if you have included any paper along with the letter, so we mentioned this in this we can write encloses 1 plus 1 plus 1 or we can we can directly write for whatever cc if needed cc means carbon copy if required of all these things Then as official letters and letters to the editor. So again, sender's address, pin, date, address of addressee, then again pin code of that place, then salutation, sir, madam, subject whatever, then introductory para, main body of the letter, concluding para, then yours faithfully, at last signature, full name in capitals, designation if needed. Next is letters of application for job. So the application for a job may be written with or without a biodata. In case it is written without a biodata, the main body of the letter should contain the following information.
the personal information example age health sex male or female then educational or professional qualifications experience or suitability for the job actually the format is the same as that of an official letter but as you can see here if we are writing the letter without a biodata so then the main body must contain these three points but if we are attaching the biodata then there is no need to mention these three points what is a biodata or resume or curriculum vitae or in short we generally say cv cv resume biodata so let me today tell you the difference between these things children as a beginner when you apply for a job you write biodata generally a biodata does not contain your experience when you are experienced to some level like 2 3 4 years then you are an experienced person so you write resume and if you are a 10 to 15 year experienced person in any field so you must write curriculum vitae about that thing but as you are the students of class 12th so when it will be asked in the board exams to write an application for a job so you must write biodata because you are inexperienced persons so the application for a job is sometimes accompanied by a biodata of the applicant the biodata is also called resume or curriculum vitae this is a wrong i have told you actually the differentiation between biodata curriculum vitae and resume so skip this point so whatever it is whether biodata or curriculum vitae it contains full information about the candidate pertaining to the job requirement the letter with biodata will have the biodata as an enclosure so the letter is known as cover letter please keep in mind the relevant information will be included under the heading biodata the covering letter which i have been discussing many a times will be a formal official letter having the same kind of format language and style the following features uh, must be mentioned in the biodata name in full father's name date of birth age generally when point is getting skipped here that is present address and fifth point is already there permanent address permanent address you understand very well but present address suppose you are not residing at your permanent address suppose you have been to delhi and you are applying for a job there so what is your permanent address that which is of haldwani and suppose you are you are residing in a rented house so that will be your present address so please don't forget to mention that also telephone number if any nowadays we use mobile phones then comes educational qualifications whatever when we write about educational qualifications we begin from the highest qualification so right now your highest qualification will be secondary that is class 12th uh secondary school tendered course examination pass grades obtained then tertiary college university exam division 
then technical professional degree or diploma obtained from any institution or university or any other see it has inverted what i am saying to you means while you write about your educational qualification number 1 would be this point number 2 would be this point and number 3 would be this point i think it's clear children why i'm saying this because the person who is going to read about your educational qualification first of all he is interested in your technical degree which is required in his institution then from where you have passed your college university and then secondary exam that's why please follow this pattern then comes experience if you are experience person if it is a resume and uh, or a cv you write experience not in by letter please stick to this point then present employment so these two points experience and present employment does not come in by letter but while you are writing uh resume or cv you must mention these two points present employment is where you are working right now the organization name your position and the salary you are drawing there then come references their name designation and official address sometimes phone numbers means two persons who know you very well and these two persons should not belong to your family then testimonial testimonials from name designation official address testimonials means documents see children this is marks for letter writing awarded on the following lines so the question letter writing consists of 448 and to 10 marks it varies from 8 to 10 marks right so format is of 2 marks content 4 marks and expression 4 marks this thing i'll discuss in detail in next video so rest continued in next video